my bad. It's probably my Wi-Fi, bro. Or it's because my phone is kind of hot, so that's why it's lagging. But, yeah. So, as you guys can see here, um, the stock market was overextended on November 5th. And we had that pullback, so it does seem like we're going to hit a, a more highs coming soon. Okay, it's not lagging. Okay. So, do you guys have any questions uh, by far? Let me know in the comments. Because I'll, I'll try to uh, read as many comments as possible. Blue Notes says, what's up? What's up, Blue Notes? Show that cute face in the way, boy. The small account challenge, that's going to start um tonight. So, 1 a.m. Pacific time. Since I'm from California, I'm going to start that small account challenge. So, I do believe that's 4 a.m. Eastern time. Um, GGPI? Yeah, I'm watching that stock for this week. Um, my most green days in a row. It's, I think it was over 19 days, I believe. Oh, no. Actually, it was like 60-something. But I had a small account back then. You're swinging your whole account in eight different stocks? Jesus, bro. Yeah, so for this week, I'm watching Tesla puts. I do believe that Tesla will drop a little bit more because Elon Musk is still selling um his Tesla position. So I do believe Tesla will continue to sell off. Sorry, just got here. Um, This is the S&P 500. I'm just trying to read the comments as of right now. Um, This is spy. Yeah. I use TradingView.com for my charting. Look at ACB. Yeah, I heard the, the wheat stocks have been running. So I'm definitely going to keep a lookout for them this week. Oh, where I've been? Um, I've been chilling. What about you? Oh, for the small account challenge, that will be on Weibo, not Robinhood. What's up with your PC? I have no idea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lucid has earnings. For Lucid Motors, I might get some puts for their earnings, bro. Because this run-up was based off of... um. Oh, I have no idea. Did I go back to school? Not yet. Any news on XCLA? As of right now, I'm staying away from that, from that stock. But I may swing that stock once they have good news. Other than that, I'm staying away from it. Pfizer thoughts? In my opinion, um, MRK looks better than Pfizer. Let me show you the chart for MRK. Because um, if MRK makes a move similar to Pfizer, then you could turn $100 into 1000 potentially. So that'll boost up small accounts uh, for sure. Okay. So I'm not sure if you guys remember, but MRK... It had went from $75 to about $84, as you guys can see here. It did leave a gap to fill right here. You see this empty space? So 90% of the time, greetings from Vegas, hello. Um, These gaps end up filling. So when MRK went from $76 to about $84, you see how we filled in that gap immediately right here? Um, These red candlesticks. So... As of right now, um, we do have a gap to fill between $84 to about $89. So we're currently sitting at $84, which is at this level right here. I do believe MRK could go up another 5 to $10 in the upcoming weeks. So if they release any good news, I do believe MRK will eventually fill in this gap right here. So that's between 84 to 89. So for small accounts, this is a pretty good um swing trade for you guys. Since most of you guys don't have unlimited day trades, you could potentially swing trade this stock. Um They have news coming up in December. So their news is on their FDA approval and if they have any good news, I do believe we will hit 89 to $100 uh, by mid-December. So the stock is called MRK. Yeah, it's Merck. Uh, Blackberry puts? Oh, no. Bed Bath & Beyond puts? Yeah, I'm looking at that, bro. I'm holding some, some puts. 
My thoughts on Affirm? I have no idea on it. What software is that? It's tradingview.com. So I'm pretty much done with my live stream because I just wanted to go over um, MRK. So let me show you one more thing before I end it. So my dogs are barking, bro. <laughs> hey, yo. Okay, hold on. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, <laughs> the last gap we had right here, this empty space, uh, we ended up filling it up the, um, the week after, as you guys can see. So now we have a gap to the upside for MRK, and the gap is between $84 to $89, like I mentioned. So it does seem like we're about to break the $84 mark, and we'll um, come, come inside here, no homo, but we'll eventually come back to, the, to $89. I'm Mexican American. My my dog keeps barking, bro. Okay, no no homo. Stop. So yeah, I'm pretty much done with my live stream. So if you, if you guys have any comments or any remarks, let me know. Yo, shut up. What is this? It's investing, bro. I thought you were Indian. No, I'm Mexican American. My mom's from Zacatecas. You like both of us? Stupid, bro. I I know that joke. This is a daily chart, yeah. Um, I'm not a big fan of PROG, so I'm staying away from that. Love you, baby. Bye. All right, then. See you. Um, GGP. Do I like men? <laughs> no. Hey, thanks for the crane, bro. I appreciate it. I don't think you could use margin for options trading. I don't believe so. Um, congrats on 100k. Thanks. I appreciate it. You want to play Fortnite? I'm down. Um, my thoughts on eBay. I'm not a big fan of eBay. Personally, I'm watching. Uh, MRK is twelve seventeen. My contracts, so that's like two months out. I'm twenty one. What about you? How do you find stocks to trade? Um, I thanks. I appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Um, the stocks I usually go based off of news. Those are my favorite stocks to trade. Like anything that has any um good news or bad news, those are pretty easy to trade in my opinion. This is tradingview.com. Thoughts on Tesla? I do believe Tesla will come back down a little bit more. Um the price target for Tesla is nine hundred and ten dollars and we're currently at ten twenty. So I could see a ninety to a hundred dollar drop sometime this week. What about you? Bro, my dog is crazy, bro. Why am I simp? Nah, I'm, what? I'm, I am never simp, bro. I go to a university. That's my dog. It's a chihuahua, so it, it sounds kind of funny, right? <laughs> Yo. The, yeah, I'm, I'm a university student. Yeah, my dog is Mexican. She's brown or something. Um... Hey, yo, Sassy Black, uh, but Tesla always goes back. I, I think Tesla's looking bad in the short term. My thoughts on SNDL, I'm not a big fan of it. Say hi, Ellie, laughing my ass off. I got my dad into stocks. Oh, he's right by you? Yo, what's good? Um, Hopefully, you guys are doing well. What is my major? I'm doing community recreation. I'm not a no salvo kid. I speak Spanish. Um... My thoughts on Smile Direct Club. Okay, so for that stock, that stock is heavily shorted. I do believe that Smile Direct Club will be the next short squeeze. Um, the the last stocks that squeezed, thanks for the rose, were A T E R P R O G, um, and I, I I forgot the rest, but. Smart Direct Club is one stock that I do believe will have a short squeeze coming soon, sooner or later. You're gay. Oh, okay. Nice, bro. So, yeah, Smart Direct Club, I like I like it for a long term. You're welcome, Pop. He's laughing. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, uh, yeah. Virgin Galactic, I'm not a big fan of it as of right now. 
my dad said thank you for thanking me and him uh, his money then you're welcome <laughs> uh, i couldn't read that bro my brain cannot process that habibi uh what's good bro uh what do you think about x i have no idea thanks for the gift it's mrk yeah that's the main stock that i'm looking forward to right now Smile directly will hit ten dollars. I believe it'll hit five fifty. I don't know about ten dollars anytime soon. But I seven fifty is doable. It's currently at four dollars and thirty cents, I believe. So I would say seven dollars at most. I always lose money on your cause. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, my thoughts on riot. Yo, if I would have held the riot contracts that I caught out, I believe it was on Thursday. Thursday or Wednesday, I would have made like three hundred thousand. I'm I'm so dumb, bro. I should have just fucking swan trade riot. I only put in seventeen thousand. I would have turned that seventeen k into three hundred thousand if I would have held. Fuck. Unlucky, yeah. That's low key an L, right? You're gonna set up a Weibo account. So that usually takes anywhere between. Uh, one to five weeks for your money to settle. It takes pretty long for Weibo, so just be aware of that. What are you gonna do for pre market? I'm gonna look for stocks for tomorrow. Are you going all in into your small account? I might, yes. Just just until I believe a thousand. Once I get, once we reach a thousand, I think I'm gonna play it smart. Yo, thanks for the donut, bro. I appreciate it. My watch list, um, Tesla puts, BBBY puts, Spy puts, Virgin Galactic puts, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and then MRK and Smart Direct Club for a swing trade. Yo, what's good, Star Boy? I mean, what's up? What's good, um, whoever said what's good, Star Boy? Thanks for the the gifts, bro. <laughs> oh, G oh, also, um, GGPI. I'm liking that stock. It's looking pretty neat. Let me show you guys something. I love you, bro. Love you too, homie. No homo. Oh, Shopify puts as well. Um, let me go over GGPI real quick, and then let me do Shopify next. So, um, this stock is relatively new and. As you guys can see, it had a pretty green day on Friday. So coming into Monday, it does seem like this stock has more upside to come. So on Monday, I might get some calls for GGPI. And then on Tuesday, I might get puts for it. Um, I'm going to just play the run-up. It's called GGPI. And the reason why it's running up is because most of the EV plays are running up, I believe. So, GGPI has more potential coming Monday, which is tomorrow. Is NASDAQ going to go up or down this week? I have no idea. I'm hoping it comes down, but we'll see um, how the markets open tomorrow. Switching up from cost to foot, I might actually. Man, I keep texting you. 